Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. I know you're probably wondering where the heck am I? Well, today's gonna be a little bit different. We are at the cell barn where all the bison are gonna come in to the cell barn today and we're gonna get ready for our cell tomorrow. Um, it's quite a show and all these bison come from all different, you know, parts of parts of Oklahoma or this region and, and they all come in here at these pens and get sorted out and then tomorrow is the sale so um, today I'm going to show you a little bit about how all this goes down and how all these bison come in here safely and are put into these pens it's a show hope you're ready So here's the first trailer for today. It's got 33 cows in it. So we're gonna unload these cows, work them one at a time, and get them sorted out in the pens. Every animal that is unloaded has to go through the proper procedure before it can be sorted out in the livestock facilities. One, it's given an identification number called a back tag. That's the yellow round sticker placed on their left hip. And that's just a simple identification number to use throughout the sale. They're also gonna be identified of what sex they are, how old they are, to be accordingly placed in the stock barn in certain pens. What I'm doing is I am giving them their Bangs vaccination metal ID tag. And it's every metal tag that I'm giving in their right ear is a different identification number for every individual bison. And that is recorded so that every new owner of that bison will have the proper identification number, which is the middle tag in that ear. It takes a lot of work to sort these animals out and work them properly and safely and handle them. All, all, every one of these people that are helping through this are members of the Bison Association or just volunteers, family and friends. Having the animals sorted out throughout the barn makes the sale go by a whole lot easier and it's easier for buyers to come by and look uh, in different parts of the barn where um, different ages and genders are located. This is called a back tag. These tags go on the bison whenever they come off the trailer into the cell barn. And this is just a um, marker or identification number to use just for the cell. This, uh, it's put on with a little bit of glue. It's put on the back hip as you can see right here. And it's just an easy identification um, for the sale. It'll fall off eventually, or when you run them through a chute, you can take it off of them.
Bob Bison. Got everything from cows to bulls, to old cows, young cows, heifers, calves, you name it. Hey guys, so where I'm at right now is the ring, and this is where the auction will go down, as you can tell. Um, Everybody, a lot of the buyers will be in here and um, the bison will come through. They'll come through the ring and they'll hang out in here for a while. People will take a look. Uh, you'll have the auctioneer um, talking about the animal when they first come in. And then also um, they'll talk about the uh, producer a little bit, where are the bison from. And um, then the auction will start for each animal. Sometimes they do it by herds. It could be a small herd, it could be, it could be uh, a couple of, of bison, it could be just one big bull. Um, there's different classes and categories, so um, it just depends. But uh, this is where it'll all go down, and this is where, um, you know, maybe maybe I could get some more bison. I don't know, we'll see. I bought both of my quapaw heifers from here last year, and so... Um, We'll see, we're, we're thinking about it. We, we may get a couple more to add to the cross timbers herd. Well, hey guys, it's sale day here in Sulphur, Oklahoma, and it's time to go in here and check out these bison and see what prices are going for and see maybe if we can get some bison today. Stay tuned. <laughs> So one of the cool things about these sales is people from all over Oklahoma um, bring their animals here to sell and you just never know where the lineage is and what where some of those bison were purchased from uh, and their offspring where do they lead back to in other ranches there's these bison here at this sale could go back to any any other herd there's no telling where what herd across the country they could come from and so it's really neat you're seeing tons of different animals from different ranches and, and different producers uh, which could be all over the country essentially with these bison here. So in total, I think there was about 113 animals. Last year was the first time we held this sale for the Oklahoma Bison Association. And I think there was right at close to 70. This year we had 113, which is really good. Um, so, you know, that's it's good to have more animals, more, uh, more advertising gets out every year and year. And so we always want more animals and we always want more buyers at these sales. It's good for the bison industry and it's good for the Oklahoma Bison Association. And hey guys, so sales over and now this is the holding area where all the bison have been sorted out into specific pens for buyers. So um, when the animals are ran through the actual ring and they're auctioned off and then you have a, a buyer, um, they have, they're given a number and that number on certain pens um, where the buyer um, has bought certain animals and then they try to keep those animals together that the buyer has purchased and so all the workers are back here sorting out all the bison as they come through the ring and come out after they've been purchased they sort them out to get ready to get them ready to be shipped out and so that's what we're going to do next is we're going to get all these trailers backed up here and we're gonna load these bison up and so um, the buyers can take home uh, their new bison. Okay, so check this out. We bought two heifers and guess what? They came from the Quapaw Nation. <laughs> we bought uh, two more heifers um, in the auction today, my wife and I did. Um, so they're from uh, one of the same producers up in the Quapaw Nation. So we will have two new quapaw heifers coming in these are yearling heifers so which that means that they're one year old 
or more and hopefully by next summer they'll be able to breed and then the year after that they'll be able to have babies so two new additions to the family and what we're going to do is we are going to load them up and we're going to take them to the farm and join the cross timber certain This is the first morning of the two new additions to the herd. We've got two new quapaw heifers that we purchased from the sale yesterday and they have joined the herd. And everything is going good. They came up and they ate this morning with the rest of the herd and I think they're adapting really well. So I basically have a four quapaw females in this herd now since we've added the two um, heifers and basically if you don't know what the quapaw when I talk about quapaw there's the quapaw Indian um, Native American nation up in northeastern Oklahoma and they uh, produce a lot of good bison and last year um, at this bison sale I bought two bred heifers um, quapaw and Dakota and they had the calves and now I just purchased two yearling heifers and um, they don't have any babies they're not bred um, someday hopefully they will be and so we have four quapaw females and two quapaw bull calves so one of the reasons we didn't just put these heifers out into the big pasture we went ahead and pulled them in some of our small lots here this is kind of our hay lot where we we bring in the bells of hay like you saw in my previous video so we brought the herd in we got them out of the big pasture and we put them in here so that we could um, bring in the new heifers and because when, when you bring new animals in you don't just want to let them take off running and so uh, you want them to come in here kind of get used to uh, the new environment the new herd and, and kind of slowly uh, give them a chance to adapt to the new situation that they're in so they're gonna hang out in one of our smaller lots um, where we feed them and where we give them hay and they can hang out here for a while and get used to the, to the we have our two new heifers they're getting along pretty well we still have the back tags on them they stay there for a while they're doing pretty good won't make their way in the herd we'll do the next couple of weeks is we're gonna keep you updated on how these heifers um, kind of grow into this herd and how they adapt to this new herd a new environment we've already fed them this morning they'll get used to our feed um, and hay they already have been eating hay where they came from and so it'll just be a process of them getting to know everyone in the herd these are very social animals and um, you know they it takes a little bit of time for them to adapt to not only a new environment but to a new family as well and so that'll occur you know here over time but so far everything's going great they've accepted them um, they're gonna be you know uh, lower on the totem pole 
and um, uh, kind of that hierarchy system that I've already talked about just because they're they're new and they're the youngest uh, besides the two calves uh, but the mamas protect them so we're gonna keep you updated on the process of, of uh, having the addition of these two new heifers well hey guys that's it for today I hope that you guys I got to learn a little bit about how uh, bison sales go. Um, luckily, it's in my hometown of Sulphur, which is probably about uh, 10 or 12 miles from uh, where the farm is here. So, But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the process of how everything goes. Um, it all ended pretty smoothly, and uh, you know all the, the buyers come in and picked up all their their bison and sorted them out and got them loaded on the trailers and they headed home to join their new herds a lot of people uh, were there were buying bison for the first time they are buying a starter herd some of them are buying um, bison to just add to their original herd which is what I did um, we even had a buyer from Montana buy a whole bunch of cows and they're being shipped out uh, today to, to go all the way up to Montana. So a different range of people, a different range of producers uh, that are doing different things with their ranches or with their bison. So, um, but pretty exciting stuff. We've got two more bison to join the herd and uh, some heifers. Uh, because we didn't have baby heifers or, ba or baby um, calf heifers this year, um, this is kind of a good way to replace uh, is buying one-year-old heifers. So what that means is next summer we should um, have some of these uh, heifers bred, at least our two new ones, and then they'll be having babies the next year. So it takes a little bit, but you know, it's nice to grow your herd and have more heifers. You can't have enough heifers, um, which means more calves. So. Thank you guys for following us. Um, you can look us up on Facebook or Instagram and uh, just stay tuned with us. We thank you guys.